What is up guys, it's Young IG back with a brand new video. Today I'm gonna show you guys my home theater setup. This has been in the process for a very long time and I think it's finally, to the most part, complete. So let's take a look at it. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start off with is the TV. This is a 4K ProScan TV. I didn't really choose this TV, but it perfectly fits the space that we have here. It's a 75 inch 4K TV. Quick story behind this TV, um, it was actually won in a lotto or like a draw. My mom got a raffle ticket for around $2 and then she won the 75 inch TV, so. It works perfectly fine. There is really nothing wrong with it. It is not uh, Dolby Vision or Dolby Atmos or anything like that, but I didn't really care for that because the screen quality is pretty good. It gets the job done and it's a really big TV. To power my home theater setup, I use the Apple TV box. Now you've probably seen by the wallpapers already on the TV that it is powered by the Apple TV, but this is what I use on a day-to-day -day basis for everything. Netflix is connected, uh, Crave is connected. Everything is connected through this box. So any streaming services that you have would work with this um, plus I also have like a Plex server that runs off my computer that's also connected to this wirelessly this is a 32 gigabyte variant so I don't really need that much space because if I need to download anything it's actually on my hard drive on my computer and it connects wirelessly through Plex to the TV which makes it a lot easier and I don't really play that much games so I don't really find myself needing a higher gigabyte capacity or anything like that this just gets the job done and if you couldn't tell already the Apple TV lives on this little floating shelf believe it or not this is the longest standing um, um, item that I have on the home theater setup. Everything else around it has changed multiple times, but the floating shelf has thick through because it is uh, drilled right into the wall. But on the left-hand side, you can see there's the Apple TV Plus that we just talked about. In the center, I just have these video games lined up because it looks really cool, adds a little bit more color. And I also have some switch controllers and so on in the center as well. And behind it is some cables running through and you can't see it because everything is lined up accordingly. Now on the right hand side, I have the home phone. So this is actually the iPhone 11 and we started using it as a home phone. So that just sits right over there on a three in one charging stand. So it charges the phone wirelessly. It also charges the Apple watch and it also charges the AirPods. Everyone in the household has an AirPods and an iPhone and they're capable of wirelessly charging. So if our home phone is not on it, one of our personal devices are going to be on it and if someone else comes in to visit they can also use that as a wireless charging device and of course we have Groot just sitting here chilling because why not he looks pretty sick this actually used to be on my desk but now i have it here in the home theater setup and right behind it this is where usually our keys and stuff like that goes so right now i just have my apple wallet but usually it would be like car keys or something like that just place it back for quick access and finally looking at the bottom portion of the setup this is where the tv bench is and it holds most of the electronics so starting from the left to right on the left, I have the original HomePods. Now, I had this since the old apartment, and I recently got a second pair to have it in spatial audio. And I gotta say, when you put two HomePods together in spatial audio, movies and TV shows just sound even better. It feels like you're actually inside the environment. It sounds amazing. Right below it, I do have these speakers. Now, these speakers don't work. I used to have these on my uh, computer, but they stopped working, so I just left it at the bottom on the bench here on the left and right. Um, and right above it in the center, I have these little electronics here as well so i have the ps4 i don't use the ps4 anymore it's just there for show it's not even hooked up to anything it just kind of hides the cables in the back over there and in the middle i have the little sony um this used to be an ipod second generation stand so i used when i used to have the ipod second generation you can see by the 30 pin right there um that it was for the 30 pin devices like the ipod second generation the iphone 4 and so on um i just didn't want to throw it out because it still works it's a good clock as it is right now the speakers are really good for it as well but I don't really use that speakers because I got the HomePods now, so there is no reason to use these as speakers. And right beside that, I have the Nintendo Switch. Once again, I'm not a gamer or anything like that, so I don't really do a lot of gaming, but with the Nintendo Switch, when someone's over, we can play Mario Kart or something like that. And you can also take it on the go with you. But the PS4, yeah, I'm not really a gamer like that, so it's just it just stays there. And on the left and the right, I do have these plants. They're not the same one. I wish they were the same plants, but can't have everything, so it is what it is. And right below in the bench here, you can see there's a little Jordan box. And inside this Jordan box is where all the cables are inside. So I didn't find a way to kind of organize the cables. So this box looked pretty nice, and I just stuffed all the cables inside. It actually has the home hub for the Philips Hue. And it also has another hub, I'm not too sure what exactly it is, but there's also the IKEA hub right on top, which connects my air purifier to HomeKit to make it a little bit easier to use on the phone 
with HomeKit. All right, so here is the final look at the entire setup. I'm actually, I actually like how it looks. I'm not too sure about the white speakers at the bottom because it's white. If it was black, it would have been a little bit better. So that might not actually stay there for long. It might actually be taken out, but that's how the setup looks like for now. Ash was out here just like, I don't even know what he's doing, but he's just out here while playing with some ball. But in front of the TV, I do have this um, little side stand. It is actually an air purifier. It's from Ikea, so it has some Swedish name that I don't know what it is called right now. But it's actually an air purifier with um, a table, so it's like two in one. And on top of that, I just keep the remotes up there on a Samsung mat, which is kind of ironic because there's nothing Samsung related here, but for that mat. And that's pretty much the entire setup. And here is a look at the entire setup at night with the RGB lights going on. So I do have some light strips going across the window as well as a little bulb facing the TV. So it gives a two-tone color look. It looks really nice and I gotta say I'm a huge fan of the LED lights. I don't have any LED lights in the actual TV setup because I feel like that kind of takes away from the TV experience. But maybe later on I might add that into it as well. But for now... That's how this entire setup looks like. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see a dash tour or something like that, I'm definitely working on something like that. So make sure to leave in the comment section below. Like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.